Okay. Here, I will uh, demonstrate to you how to check a capacitor with uh, three methods without using the ESR. I don't have the ESR meter as of the moment, so I will use a multimeter and uh, this is the three ways that I use to check a capacitor. First thing is the visual inspection. If you see this capacitor at the top of this one, it's already bulging. It's like about to explode. And uh, at the bottom, uh, there's a sign of corrosion and uh, burn. So if you see a capacitor in a circuit that uh, looks like this, it means that uh, something is wrong with that capacitor. So it's better to change it. That is the first method, uh, visual inspection. The second one is checking the capacitance of the capacitor using the multimeter. Now, I will rotate my multimeter to capacitance. You see now, this is on the capacitance. The next thing I have to do is to short, to short the pin of the capacitors. In this capacitor, it reads uh, 47 microfarad, 25 volts. So we will check in multimeter if uh, this capacitor is okay or is it defective. Now, if you see in my multimeter, it's reading 7.72 microfarad, which is uh, very, very far from the value of this capacitor, which is uh, 47 microfarad. So that is the second method. The third method is to charge the capacitor using the multimeter and uh, it should read from zero, the value should increase up to OL. That is a one way uh, or indication that uh, this capacitor is good if it will read that way. But if not, then uh, it confirms the first, the, uh, I mean the second reading that this capacitor is defective. So I will put the meter on ohms. In read, now observe the capacitor. Uh, now observe the multimeter reading. As you can see, before the reading was fluctuating and now it's reading 28 mega ohms. So it shows that this capacitor is defective. So I have here another capacitor which uh, show 50 volts 0 0.47 microfarad. So we will check this capacitor and uh, we will see what uh, reading we will get. Now after uh, shorting the pin. You see, it reads OL. So by visual inspection, this capacitor is okay and by reading the capacitance value it also reads 
a very good value which is very near to the capacitor uh, rating and uh, the third method it's it charges and uh, it shows some value until it reads ol so with these three methods it showed that this capacitor is a good capacitor so this is how i check the capacitor